will see what are the various characters which will be used in our C language. When I said a program, a program, as I said, it's a collection of instructions. Your instructions are nothing but a collection of constants, variables, and keywords. And all these are going to be formed by a group of characters. What are the various characters which are used in a program? Any character which is there on the keyboard is said to be a valid character set. You can use alphabets, you can use digits, you can use special characters in this constants, variables, keywords, instructions and a program. Now, let's point out what are the various valid characters and invalid characters which should be or should not be used in our program. As I have listed out some characters which are very much valid in C language. So basically, the characters of C language is a combination of alphabets, it can be uppercase or it can be lowercase alphabets, digits and special characters. Now what do I mean by special characters? A set of characters which are there on the keyboard but neither an alphabet nor a digit is said to be a char special character. You can use almost all the special characters which are there on the keyboard. For example, you can use brackets, round brackets, curly brackets, square brackets. You can use arithmetic symbols like plus, minus, asterisk, slash and percentage. Apart from this, you can use say less than, greater than, greater than equals to, less than equals to and so on and so on. Every character has got its own meaning. As and when we proceed with the program, definitely we will say about those concepts, those wordings which are associated with these characters. Now, for this, let me explain what exactly these round brackets are for, curly brackets are for, square brackets. And do remember that you are not supposed to take anything as an alternate of one another. For example, in C language, we use these round brackets to say about functions. Whenever I am supposed to use a word called as function, that particular function will be said with these round brackets. A pair of curly brackets are used to indicate begin and end or start and stop. You can't use the word start. start. You can't even replace these brackets. A curly bracket has to be said for begin or start. And a closing curly bracket should always be said for stop. The square bracket concept is used with arrays. There is a definite meaning with these arrays. When, when you have a data which is very large in quantity, to store these data, we need something called as arrays. And those arrays can be said by these square brackets. The arithmetic operators which have listed at plus, minus, asterisk, slash, modulus have got their own unique meaning. We are all comfortable with the basic two symbols addition plus subtraction minus. In C language, your multiplication is not indicated by a cross symbol, but instead of that, it will be said using an asterisk symbol. A division is not said by a by symbol, it will be said using a slash symbol. We call this as a forward slash. A percentage symbol is not used to calculate percentage. Do remember that. This is called as a modulus operator. Whenever we divide two numbers, we definitely get some quotient. To get that quotient, we can use a slash operator. And when we divide, we even get remainder. The remainder can be obtained by using this particular percentage symbol which is called as modulus operator in C language. We have several mathematical operators as and when we proceed with these sessions, definitely we'll learn about all those operators also. Now, what can't be used in C language? Some characters which we are very much comfortable in mathematics, but we can't use them or we should not use them in C language. What are those? Let me identify them as invalid characters. What are the invalid characters which we, we are supposed to avoid? We have been definitely using greater than equal to in this fashion. Now, this should be avoided. We don't have anything of this sort on the keyboard. Less than equals to is again one more character which we should avoid. We have been using a mathematical symbol called as plus minus. But none of the keys which have listed the invalid are available on the keyboard. We have been using a square root symbol which we should avoid. We have been writing symbols like x to y. We have been writing symbols like x to the base y. We have been using symbols like opening double quotes. We have been using symbols like opening single quotes. All these characters which I have listed under the invalid category should be avoided. 
it means that these are not there on the keyboard hence we should not use these characters so basically your character set of c language is a combination of alphabets digits and special characters and invalid character should be avoided the set of invalid characters i have listed out there are some more invalid characters as and when we come across those in our programs will definitely learn and say these has to be avoided and do remember the difference between a special character and a invalid character a character which exists on the keyboard but it is neither an alphabet nor a digit is said to be a special character a character which is there on the keyboard but neither alphabet nor a digit is a special character and a invalid character is that which doesn't exist on the keyboard so to summarize this a character set of c language is a combination of alphabets digits and special characters thank you